Most people think of organ donors as those who have died suddenly, but had made arrangements to give their organs away to help save the life of someone else. The gift of life is given to salvage something good out of something extremely sad. At any given time in the United States, as many as 89,000 men, women, and children are waiting to receive an organ transplant. Each day, as many as 74 receive a transplant. Unfortunately, every day, 17 people die while waiting for a transplant because of a shortage of donated organs. One of the major things that still limits who can get a transplant is, is the lack of uh, donor organs. Uh, this is the hardest time, of course, which is waiting for the, yeah. for the transplant. Yeah. How's he feeling? Of course, not all patients needing a transplant are adults. There are about 350 pediatric heart transplants done in the United States each year. In the last 10 years, the lives of about 3,500 children have been saved because of pediatric heart transplants. These transplants were only possible because of the love and thoughtfulness of complete strangers who turned their own tragedy into a gift of life for another. One of the possible misunderstandings surrounding organ donations is the perception that a person must die in order to be a donor. But that isn't the case. Today, kidney transplants often come from a living donor. Also, advancements have made it possible for some who are in need of a liver transplant to receive just part of a liver from a living donor. That was the case for Darcy Deer. Needing a liver transplant as a result of hepatitis C, Darcy, his wife Janice, and their three sons watched as more needy patients moved ahead of him on the transplant list. They decided to take a bold step and write to family and friends explaining Darcy's situation. Their letter was answered with a gift of life, literally. Darcy's cousin, Life Amendinger, came forward and qualified as a living donor. It's a very brave thing to do, and um, he's an amazing person, and what he has given our family will never be forgotten. It's a gift of life. It's truly a gift of life. It's heartwarming because it's the fact that this doesn't happen every day, and it's actually pretty funny that his name is Life, because he gave life to my dad. It feels good because my dad's not really going to the hospital much anymore. I had been sick for so long, I'd forgotten what it was like to feel well. Now that I'm starting to feel better, it's like, oh wow, this could continue, this is cool, this is fun. And I'm getting stronger every day.